Pluto LNG is a landmark project in Woodside's history. And it's Woodside CEO Peter Coleman that's overseen the completion of the company's most ambitious project to date. Today as we stand, Woodside is the only operator in Australia that has LNG plants developed and operating on the west coast. The start-off at Pluto, of course, now provides Woodside an opportunity to be a major supplier into the Asia-Pacific region. We're already the largest operator in the region, but of course now uh, with Pluto, we'll have our own equity in there, and that's a very important place for us to be. Pluto was a very bold and invigorating decision by the Woodside board in 2007. That heralded the start of a new era in Australian LNG. In fact, subsequent to that, we've seen seven other projects by different companies being constructed. Woodside's Pluto LNG has led the way in the wave of LNG projects currently taking shape in Australia. From mighty to minute details, Pluto LNG is an extraordinary achievement, especially given the remote location and the sheer size and scale of these facilities. From exploration to final investment decision, construction to commissioning, the achievement of Pluto is a reflection of the commitment of everyone involved. And all this by an Australian oil and gas company building Australian capabilities and competing in a global industry to take the company forward. Woodside's exploration team triumphed in early 2005, discovering the Pluto gas field 190 kilometres off Karratha in Western Australia's Carnarvon Basin. Not only did they find Pluto, but less than a year later the team uncovered a second gas field, Xena. Together, these two gas fields contain an estimated 5 trillion cubic feet of dry gas. That's a huge advantage in a world searching for cleaner fuel alternatives. At capacity, Pluto's onshore plant will process 4.3 million tonnes of LNG every year. That helps to cement Woodside's position as a major supplier of LNG to the Asia-Pacific region. In achieving this, Woodside has made significant contributions to local, state and national economies. They have created 15,000 Australian jobs and awarded $7.6 billion to Australian companies, which, in terms of contracts, is a substantial investment. But without the right partnerships, none of this would have been possible. Pluto LNG established relationships with outstanding foundation partners in Kansai Electric and Tokyo Gas. In 2008, these two companies signed on as joint venturers, each acquiring a 5% interest in the project. Their support and partnership in the lead-up to final investment decision and beyond has been central to Woodside's success. But also key to Woodside's success is the company's vast experience operating in Western Australia's Pilbara region. For Woodside, it's been the heart of their operations for more than 25 years. Having already constructed five trains and a pipeline gas plant at the Woodside-operated Northwest Shelf, Woodside's knowledge and experience in LNG project construction and operations is unrivaled in Australia. And it's this that's given Woodside its competitive edge. Siteworks started at the Pluto LNG Park in late 2007. Over 2,500 kilometres away, a team of workers in Thailand constructed the first train, comprising of 264 modules. Each module, the largest, a towering six storeys and weighing more than 2,000 tonnes, was carefully transported to Australia. Site preparations involved crushing and compacting 2.5 million cubic metres of rock material, laying 1,600 kilometres of cabling and pouring over 150,000 cubic metres of concrete. 
Out to sea, Pluto's offshore platform was mobilized and anchored in 85 meters of water, 180 kilometers off the coast of Caratha. Two enormous topside sections were then seamlessly joined to complete the structure. All the while, 180 kilometers of pipeline was carefully laid along the sea floor, finally bridging the offshore platform to the onshore facilities. Tying all of this together required a monumental effort. The results speak for themselves. Woodside has been able to demonstrate that it's able to take from discovery all the way through the execution and production phases, a mega project in a very, very short period of time. From discovery to first gas has taken seven years, which is a world-class performance. To achieve this success has taken a resilient and flexible team. And building on Woodside successes, the company has strived to make a real contribution to the vitality, capacity and capability of the local communities, providing greater opportunities and more sustainable futures. Woodside is providing a wide range of community, arts, heritage, education and business development programs. And today, Woodside ensures that about 10% of Pluto's operation staff are local indigenous people that are trained with specialized skills. Woodside's strength lies in the capabilities of its people and to date they have contributed over 90 million hours in their commitment to bring Pluto LNG safely to life. The complexity of the Pluto project speaks volumes for the competency of the Woodside workforce, but equally, it's a very important thing for us is the way we've been able to safely go about executing the project, particularly in the time frame that we have. And to commemorate their extraordinary achievements, the West Australian Youth Orchestra has performed this special piece of music. With Northwest Shelf as its operating background, Pluto has cemented Woodside's brand and position in the global LNG industry. The future for Woodside is a really exciting one. We now have a number of growth opportunities and we want to make sure that we maintain that well-deserved reputation of being a safe and reliable operator for our customers. Pluto LNG, leading the way in Australia's LNG development.